And we are back YouTube. For anyone who's returning, thank you. And for everyone who's new, welcome. I'm Mitch, and this is Retro Rummage. I'm in the game, my channel's buying games, DVDs, Blu-rays, any electrical items I get my hands on at car boot sales, Facebook Marketplace, or charity shops for a cheap price. So I'm getting traded into CX at a high price, so I can build my own gaming collection. And that's what we're doing today. Another world famous episode of CEX Roulette. Um, another PlayStation 1 game. I'm really steaming through the collection at the moment. Um, loads and loads of games over there, as you can see, that I've got recently. Um, not that I'm struggling to find games to pick up, but the, you know, I'm now having to have a, a, a deeper think, should we say, about what games I want and, and what games I can wait for, if that makes sense. This is a game that I've wanted to play for a long time, but it's, this is the first time that I've seen it come into stock in CEX uh, in a long time, to be honest. Um, I, it goes for more than, I think I paid £160 voucher for this. I think it goes for more than that if it's complete on eBay. Um, yeah, it's, I'd like to say it's a rare game. I never knew about this back in the day. Um, it's a game that I've only really learned about recently. Looks like a fun game to play. Um, I will obviously open it up and if it is complete, fingers crossed, uh, set it up on the old computer and uh, and do a little bit of um, a gameplay as well, should we say. Um, so yeah, without further ado, we'll flip the cameras, get into it and fingers crossed, <laughs> we, uh, we get the manual. Um, so yes. Oh, nice and easy that one, although they have taped around the side. So yeah, like I said, £160 uh, this game is on CEX. Um, I haven't seen it in stock for as long as I, I can remember. I've had a, what should we say, what do you want to call it, a notification set up uh, for ages on it, to be honest. Sorry, I'm struggling to get in the box again. Here we go. Right, let's open it up and see if, is there an invoice? can't see an invoice. I've got to admit as well, I mean, I, <laughs> I do this every week, but I'm like, it's feeling like it's the right way. Um, but we'll see. So yes, hex wrap, as we can see there, get rid of that. Uh, and without further ado, we have Chocobo Racing, which has come in a case protector. <laughs> So this just goes to show, this. I think this is what I said on my last CX Roulette video, that um, especially now I'm noticing more and more games coming to stock that haven't been in stock for a while. Um, and I feel like it's because, you know, cost of living crisis, um, people unfortunately have not got as much spare cash, you know, everyone's doing what they can to, to make ends meet. And unfortunately, it just seems that um, yeah, people are having to trade their games in for whatever reasons. I like to tell myself that you know, no, people are just doing this because you know they're fed up of all of their games and you know they're, they're having a clear out. I really hope that's the case. But obviously, the fact that this is in a case protector just goes to show that you know, obviously, this has come from someone who cares about the games um, and the condition that they're in. So. Yeah, let's let's open it up. I mean, with it being <laughs> with it being in the case protector, I'd be very shocked if there was no manual. But yeah, first instance, it, it looks it looks immaculate to be honest. Um, okay, there's maybe a hairline crack in the uh, what do you want to call it in the case at the back there, but but nothing too too drastic from the makers of Final Fantasy VIII Square Soft. Yeah, so it looks like it's original case. And obviously, without further ado, there is the manual. And it's in brilliant condition, as expected for a game that's come in a case protector. Again, absolutely mint. Mint condition. <laughs> it's, it's kind of, I don't know, it's kind of uh, soured or, yeah, yeah, probably soured the deal for me. Because I know that this has come from someone who, um, you know, who's obviously a collector, and you know they, they they appreciate games, their value, and obviously take care of them. I mean, to be honest, none of my games are in 
uh, case protectors. So it's, it, yeah, it's kind of, uh, yeah, kind of hit home with, you know, how, how hard it things can be for people to, to, you know, make ends meet and get through. Hopefully, fingers crossed, uh, you know, that doesn't happen to me and <laughs> I won't have to sell my games, but you never know what's around the corner, unfortunately. Um, yeah, I mean, let, let me know in the comments. Like I said, this, this is like the, the fifth or sixth CEX roulette that I've had that's been successful lately. So, you know, my, my luck is bound, bound to end soon. But let me know in the comments of your experience with ordering games from CEX, especially people like myself who, you know, spend a little bit more on games. Obviously, games where they're like 30, you know, less than 50 pounds around that mark, it's probably, you know, you're, you're gonna be taking more of a risk because it's more likely that there's gonna be those games that people have had in their lofts, stuff like that, where, you know, there's more chance of it not, um, yeah, not being complete and with the manual. But if you've spent, you know, 150, 200 pound on a game recently from CEX, let me know what your experience has been like. If you've noticed an uptrend in CEX roulette wins, should we say. Um, yeah, because I mean, <laughs> I always tell myself that when I do these roulettes, that the, the game that I've got is, you know, someone's had it in their loft for, you know, 20 years and they've had a clear out and they're like, oh my God, I've, you know, I've taken it down to CEX and it's worth 110 pounds. So, you know, they're happy to take the money that they've got uh, for that game. And obviously I'm happy to get it because I'm able to buy it through vouchers. The thought of someone having to sell these games to pay for, you know, an emergency bill or something like that. And obviously I'm, you know, although I'm taking it from CEX, still kind of feel like I'm taking it from them. It doesn't feel as sweet, shall we say. Um, but anyway, that's enough about that. About this game, um, from the videos that I've seen on the internet, it does look really fun. Um, kind of, you know, Mario Kart-esque game. Um, I really like Street Racer on the PlayStation 1. That's another similar game <clears throat> to, you know, like the Mario Karts, Crash Bash, stuff like that. So looking forward to giving this a go. I have actually heard good things about this. Um, the reason that it demands such a high price, I'm not too sure, probably just didn't sell well um, in the UK. Like I was saying, I've never, I never heard about this game back in the day. Um, so yes, yeah, it's, it's new to me. So looking forward to giving it a go. Oh, oh I said the case was immaculate. The, that, the hinge down there is a little bit broken, but I'll keep it in this case because it is original. Obviously it's got from the makers of Final Fantasy on there. Um, and yeah, apart from that little hinge down the bottom there, it is in pretty good good condition, so I'm not too fussed about that. So yes, another CEX win. Let's flip the cameras and I will uh, do some gameplay for you. So catch you in a minute. Right, so here we go. Like I said, I never played this game before. Looking, for, Obviously I've watched videos on uh, YouTube and it kind of looks like, um, yeah, Another, like I was saying, Mario Kart-esque kind of game. We'll get straight into it. Load previously saved data, yes. All right. Oh. All right, so we'll do a quick uh, Grand Prix. Maybe just do one race, see how, qu see how quick they are. Because we're nothing, we've not done Mario Kart. Um, yeah, like one race was over in a couple of minutes. Who should we choose? Goblin, White Mage, oh, Black Magician, Mog, Golem, Bamoth, Chubby Chocobo. Let's go for that because I'm a chubby at heart. Selectability, Receive, Charge, Dash, Flap. I don't know any of these, so we'll just we'll speed through. Choose your own courses. Random select. Here we go. Anyway, but yeah, let me know in the comments if uh, this is a game that you've played before. Looks very similar to Co uh, to Mario Kart. Okay, square. <laughs> right, squares go. So straight off the bat, we're we're far behind. Caught up with a couple of them already. So uh, how do we do? Ah, oh, there we go. R1 is 
That's ability. So it's R1 and, and R2 that, to use abilities and then square to go. I'm assuming X is break. Oh no. <laughs> it's basically Mario Kart, but with different... Different... Uh... Oh, what have I done? Oh, been blown up. I should really play these games just before to uh, try and give myself some chance at actually winning them when I play them. Getting blown up again. <laughs> I'll come last. Alright, let's go again now whether we know the controls. come first Whoop. ah been blown up I think that the animations are a bit long you know very very hard to hold a lead if you've got Oh no. You now if you get blown up and you're behind for god knows how long. Second, come on. First, come on. I suppose once you know what the power ups are, oh, for God's sake! See what I mean? Like, how can you hold a lead when you're put out of action for that long? <laughs> right, we'll, we'll cut it off there anyway. But it is quite enjoyable. I do like it. It's basically Mario Kart, but for for um, PlayStation. So obviously, you can't get Mario Kart on the PlayStation. So. It'd be very enjoyable. Is this two seconds? Let me just double check if this is four player. So yeah, it's only uh, one or two players, unfortunately. I know. I'm pretty sure Street Racer, which is uh, another game like this that I like on the PlayStation One. I'm pretty sure that that's up to four player. But yeah, I'll cut off the footage there, and we'll do a little recap afterwards. So yes, Chocobo Racing. Um, really, really happy to add this one to the collection. Quite a fun game, um, as expected. You know, was. You know, interested to see how it would compare against Mario Kart. I think it's very difficult for any game to come up against Mario Kart because it is the OG. Um, like I said, I like Street Racer on the uh, PlayStation 1. I'm trying to think what other games, um, you know, Mario Kart-esque, I've, I've probably said that a couple of times in this video, but, you know, compare to, to a, you know, a, a kart racing game like Mario Kart. This one come close, um, very, very fun. The only downside to it, that I believe anyway, is that it is only one and two player. There's no um, possibility to connect a multi-tap adapter to this and play more than two people. Um, but yeah, all in all, fun game. Happy to be adding it to the collection. Um, it's, like I say, in good condition. And another one ticked off of the list. 
Um, the PlayStation 1 collection is getting very, very good now. Um, this year has just been, yeah, I've just been smashing it with regards to the boot sales, um, obviously the vouchers that I've been getting back and, and the games that I've been picking up. I mean, to be honest, I didn't think that I would be getting this many big hitters uh, within, you know, we've only been halfway through the year. So really happy to be adding uh, Chocobo by Racing to the collection. Um, let me know in the comments if this is a game you've played, if it's a game that you want, um, or if it's a game that you hate. <laughs> but yeah, take care everyone and I'll see you all in the next one.